All right, so I'm Richie Kotzen today. I'm going to show you my rig and my guitar. Uh, it's a Fender Telecaster, my signature model, and it's the guitar that I play off the rack. <clears throat> I do two things to it, actually three things I do. I sand the finish off, I add the drop D tuner, and I add this guitar tuner that lives inside the guitar. Other than that, the guitar is totally as it is off the rack, maple fingerboard, a little fatter neck, It's what I like. I have fairly large hands for my size. Frets are what they call 6100s. The wood, curly, maple top, and a swamp ash back. Uh, DiMarzio pickups, Twine King, Chopper T. One unique feature about this Telecaster, it has a comfort cut. Most Telecasters are squared off in the back. This one is not, so it makes it more comfortable to play. Other than that, there is one other feature. In the middle position, you get both pickups, which is normal, but rather than this being a tone knob, it's a switch. And it's a series parallel switch, so that gives you some other tonal options. I'll take you through uh, the pedals that I'm using. The Jim Dunlop, Cry Baby, standard, classic, original version. No knobs on the side, no switches, no nonsense. Here, I've got a uh, pedal that I designed with a company called Tech 21. This is an overdrive here and uh, we spent about six months developing the overdrive. It's a cool overdrive because it's a, a normal overdrive and it has a boost feature, but you can use them independent of each other. You've got, actually you have one, two, three different overdrive options within these two switches. The delay has a tap tempo feature, a flutter feature so you can get a chorusing effect. You can set your tempo by hitting this button. The middle switch is a reverb as well as a sans amp. If you set the sans amp settings relatively flat, you can use this as only a reverb. Doing a, a gig where you're on an amp that isn't your favorite amp to play through, you can use the sans amp to kind of tweak the color and the response of the amp. So it's a cool feature to have as an option. And the main point of this pedal in the design was to make it small. I wanted something that was very compact, it did take up a lot of space and did everything I needed it to do. I'm not a fan of big pedal boards. Um, I wanted everything in a small unit, hardwired together. And that's what this is. It's a very cool unit. Uh, a modification that I made to it, or actually my friend who built it made the modification. Um, we're sending phantom power out of this input, or uh, yeah, from the input into the output of the wah and we're using a stereo cable. So what we've got is uh, the wah being powered by that pedal. And uh, there's no battery in the wah. You don't need another adapter. And it just simplifies and streamlines my rig. Uh, we had to modify the wah to do that as well as this pedal, which is my personal amp. Uh, it's a Marshall 1959 HW, and that means hand-wired. It's a 100 watt Marshall head. Um, they call this version a plexi because the front panel is plexiglass. Um, and this, to me, is, is the, the best Marshall for the kind of sound that I like and for the way that I play. It's got a lot of attack. It's very percussive and responsive. It has a nice bark to it. And when you crank it up, it overdrives really nice. And uh, that's really it. I'm running the bottom cabinet only, um, mainly because I'm singing. So running this top cabinet would really make it difficult for me to hear my voice. So we just run the bottom cabinet, and it's uh, pretty much it. We're using wireless too, actually. This is a Line 6 model wireless that's very efficient, works well for me. And that's it. That's my way.